everyone, it's me, your reversing queen. There's Diana. So it's nearly 11, we've just moved her to the front of the house, my gorgeous girl. And then we're gonna pack the rest of our stuff and then we'll be on our way to Wallaby Hills. <laughs> absolute dream venue that I never thought I'd get the chance to compete at so just so stoked to even be going to be actually eventing because the last three events that we were going to go to got cancelled so I am just completely over the moon to be able to go so we will be doing our second eventing start at 90 freaking 5 I have high hopes because our training's been going really well we got reserve novice champion in the young rider class last weekend which was a real dream come true to have some success in like straight dressage um we've been working so hard on our dressage so that was absolutely amazing we also won the sixth bar at queen Bean show clearing 140 which was obviously another massive crazy dream and yeah we've done a little bit of cross country in prep which was pretty good but yeah just going to have fun as always we've got the whole fan bam coming along we are camping for the first time so we've been doing heaps of maintenance on the float we've got the battery charged we're currently flushing out the water tank camping is going to be interesting we're not real campers in our family so we'll see how we go um but it should be a really fun weekend i'm so beyond excited i know i always say that but like this time i'm like all right just finalizing the float water and <laughs> it's been repaired Drained, flush. <laughs> I think Clean water. Tight enough. We Do we think Finn's gonna freak out at the mattresses? <laughs> We're taking my brother's bike. Oh my god, I haven't been on a bike in so long. Oh, righty scatty, 12.15 and we are leaving. Yes, Finnikins. <laughs> are you excited for our biggest adventure yet? Yes. Boy Finny. Alright, so I drove for about an hour and a half and then we stopped at Mackie's and now Dad's driving. Oh my god. Oh my god, no! I'm gonna cry. <laughs> it's nearly five. We've been faffing around setting up the camping arrangements. Um, but now we're on going for a little trail ride and figuring out where the dressage warm and the dressage rings are and everything. It's so gorgeous. I can't I cannot get over it. I'm just gonna be like crying all weekend. <laughs> Beanie the arenas oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god look at that what the freakity freak oh that's the outside okay wait no but that's still so skinny that's our job those are our jobs oh my freaking god two sleeps and i'm gonna well I'm, i hope that i get to that job oh my god oh my god oh my god baby oh my god all right we found our dressage arena and we had a little like pre-ride around there just to give him a bit of a stretch and make sure he's feeling okay which he is he was quite good actually i'm really happy but i, I just i could just ride around this property all day with a massive smile on my face i actually cannot believe it i know i've said that like a million times <laughs> um yes he's a very good boy went to finney we have a nice matchy matchy outfit on but unfortunately didn't get any videos of the ride but yeah it was just a super short one i think we'll just go for like a little hand walk around the property if we have time but i thought i better go back and we'll get braiding done okay we've done our carrot stretches he had a nice massage before the ride as well now he's having his dinner so i've been platting by myself um mum's gone to help someone and this is taking me like literally an hour these plats look pretty good and then i tried to do a full lock for the first time ever and it looks really bad <laughs> 
it's fine. Oh, your ears look so funny. <laughs> Update my mic's my full look. Good boy having a drink. Alrighty, platter done. It's 10 to 8. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Finn is all done for the night. I'll take him for a walk later. And now we're gonna sort dinner. And I thought I'd give you a quick little tour of our setup. Yeah, this is my bed in here. We're gonna rotate it so I'm not underneath the center dividers because we can't be bothered to take them out. But I think that's lovely and snug. I would happily live in Diana. I love her so much. And we set up the awning. And we've got all our little camper chairs. Rowan's been riding his bike around. And then mum and dad are in the tent. And Rowan's in the car. Dinner. So we had a very nice dinner in our friend Julian's caravan. We had a microwave, so that was fantastic. And now we're going on our night walk, filled up hay and water, and then yeah, we'll get ready for bed. Having a cheeky little sticky peek at the indoor arena. See up there? It's so cool. Oh! <laughs> Sleep well! I'm in bed. It's 11 o'clock. <laughs> He's a bit wet. It is 8.12, so exactly an hour until my dressage. We're getting Finny all ready to go. And I'm about to have some breakfast. Thank you, Dad. And straight into it with some voiceover. Because I don't have any footage from the warm-up, unfortunately. And the video starts like halfway down the center line there but that's okay I don't want to share this test quite frankly so the less you see the better um I also made a mistake at the beginning so we weren't off to a good start it was very disappointing because we can do such nice work in a dressage ring as I said earlier I took home young rider reserve novice champion the weekend before and he was awesome he was so relaxed and happy but this test scored a fair 58.9 percent and the comments are full of things like rushing to the bridle, gumming behind the vertical, nodding behind the vertical, tense, running, etc. I know it was mostly my fault because I was quite tense, which he obviously mirrors, but I'm always a little bit tense and a little bit nervous. And I guess he's the same, like he's sometimes more nervous than other times. And that's okay, like horses are the same as humans in that way. And I just need to get better at managing both my nerves and his nerves. Like you can probably see me like quietly begging him to carry himself a bit more with my hands but he was just sucking back so much the whole time and yeah it wasn't pretty it might look fine to the untrained eye but it's reflected in the comments and he just wasn't listening as well like I tried to get him into that corner a little nudge with the inside leg there and then he ended up disuniting with his back legs it's really hard to see but I felt it and then I corrected it and we got a four for break in pace there and then the rest of the test the whole test got sixes and 6.5s because he was just so tense he's a very funny little horse I suppose they all are um and I suppose they all react differently in different situations but sometimes like he did here when he's upset he'll just put his head to his chest and power through and say right I want to get this over with still doing nice canon transitions though which made me happy but you can see he's just bobbing behind the vertical there but actually this circle was much better than the other circle but still the whole test just felt yucky but he tried his best it's so hard to remember that in the moment but they are always trying their best for us and we got a score on the board and in the end that's all you're trying to do just disappointing it doesn't reflect what we are capable of um, and also extra disappointing because we looked so nice for this test. We had the quarter marks, the false tail, nice plaits, new saddle pad. I don't know, I just felt extra put together for this test. This length and trot was interesting. He pulled a shoe also at some point between tacking up for dressage and going into the ring because if you look closely, he didn't have a shoe there and he was flicking with one leg but not the other which was interesting he was flicking with the leg that had the shoe um so that could have contributed to him being unhappy definitely had it while we were tacking up because we would have noticed when we picked his feet but yeah didn't notice when it came off anyway the walk is where you can see that he was really tense because he tried to jig jog once there and then threw his head in the air when i was gathering the reins there and then Literally tried to g-jog once there, twice there, and then 
a third time there. So that's four times that he jig jogged. And if you watch closely, you can see I literally like shook my head right in front of the judge because I was just so embarrassed. Because last weekend, he did two tests, beautiful tests, no jig jog in the walk whatsoever, which has been like such a big issue for us for such a long time. Um, so that was really disappointing. But that is horses and I should get better at shaking it off because little did I know it was only going to get worse. But that's all right. Like he still looked beautiful and tried his best and got big pats. Good job, Bree. Alrighty, so dressage is done and we got Finn sorted, got his shoe put back on, had some food and now I have some visitors with me. <laughs> you guys are my, what are you? My Nana's sister's grandchildren. What is that? Are we like second cousins? I don't know. But we're family and we're, we're looking at the show jump course currently. What do you guys think? Think we're going to go go over all the jumps? You reckon I can do it? Yes. I don't know, it's a pretty spooky course. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh, I don't know, that was pretty close. Say hi. Oh, you gonna wave? Say hi. <laughs> <laughs> Visitors, I've walked the show jumping, had some more food, sorted out Finny, and it's pouring. It's pouring. Okay, course walk time. There's the wallaby. Jump number one. That's jump number one. It's very wet. My socks are so wet. Look at this jump. I can't feel my feet. I only have oh shorts. my god! Everybody's having such a great time. Woohoo! <laughs> we were just talking about how grateful we are. Um, <laughs> no, absolutely not. Switch on, concentrate. Get up. walk and now I've got Finny and we're going for another little leg stretch. I am soaked through to my underwear. Yeah I'm just gonna give him another little walk and then somehow try and go and get dry. <laughs> Feeling very nervous because both the show jumping and the cross country are very spooky. I'm not so worried about the height but I just just want to get around. Okay so I took out Finn's braids after we went on our little walk and I found my grandparents who arrived. Then I had a shower and I stole my grandma's tracksuit pants because I didn't bring any spare clothes. It was the best shower I've ever had, um, even though I had no soap, no spare clothes, and a soggy towel. It was warm, it was fantastic. Now we're sitting in the van. Rowan's got his noodles. The heat is on and life is good. There's a clothesline here. I'm sitting in the driver's seat, if you're wondering. Well, these, are, these are our soggy towels <laughs> and I just wanted to show you that the sun came out literally the first time all day the sun has been out lying in the heated van oh it's so nice I'm so tired she's a picky time hello, hello. 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 
do it for the vlog. I dare you to try this. He hates cheese. I dare you. I'll give you two dollars. All the wealth of nations. I hate her so much. That is really nice cheese. Two dollars. It's like once. It's very pungent. Mm. Are you enjoying your nice dry biscuit? Update, got my dressage test back. Yeah, it was horrible, as I expected. We got 58% <laughs> and we're coming like fifth or sixth last, so out of a big class. We're sitting in 25th, I think. So yeah, not very happy about that. Considering last weekend we did so well and you know, we've been working so hard on our dressage and then just all falls apart on the day, but that's all right. Tomorrow is gonna be a good day. Gonna be a good day. And now I'm going for another course walk. I stole Rowan's bike. Ah! Oh my god, I haven't ridden a bike in ages. I'm dying. I'm walking now. Ready? 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 Good check. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <Whee! laughs> I'm walking again. Fit check. My jacket also got stuck in the chain. All right, I'm sitting by a warm-up jump and Finny's here having a graze. Second time walking the cross country. I feel a tad better, but still absolutely bricking it. But I have a plan and I know, like I know exactly how I want to ride it. But for now, I think I just want to focus on my show jumping, get that done in the morning and then maybe walk it again after show jumping. But I'm a bit, I'm really stressed about the show jumping as well because it's quite spooky. So I just want to go super, super forward for show jumping. What are you doing? <gasps> what are they? Are they the cross country jumps? You want to go now? So beautiful. Just been grazing him for ages and now he's back in his yard and I'll go have dinner and I'll come back later. Dinner time. This looks great, <laughs> doesn't it? Mm. Yummy. Night walks and hay bag time. <laughs> I've literally been walking and grazing him so much. He better appreciate it and be a good boy tomorrow. We're exploring the trot up track. There's a lake just there and there's fairy lights over there. And then there's the glamping tents. No, you can't see. Oh well. This is the part of eventing that I love. Late night walks with my bestie. Oh, the camera just doesn't do justice. They're so beautiful. This is my selection of midnight snacks. This is all the mess here, here, and that's my bed. There's a sock there, and a rug, and a very soggy towel. I'm sleeping beneath my saddle pad, so I'm a happy girl. So, good night, good morning, everyone. It's a beautiful day here, day three at Wallaby Hill. Hi, Finny. Good morning. <laughs> Mum's taking him for a walk, and. I am just gonna fix this and try and force myself to eat some more food. I'm absolutely pooping it already. <laughs> Look how pretty he is. Those dapples. And also, I don't know if I showed you before, but I did his tail for the first time. Oh yes, grass. <laughs> we had to make mud first. Oh yeah. His nice coat. Dad and I have just walked to number 12 AB again because I wanted to have another look and then we'll focus on show jumping. Okay, I'm really glad we came back. I've decided I was gonna do like a curved three, but I'm gonna ride this at an angle and do two. So hopefully I get there. <laughs> time to rise and shine. Pack up time. <laughs> Pack up going well. Ready? That's the warm up. That's the start of the cross country. And then you come down here. And here's Nano and Pad's van. And here's all my stuff that got absolutely soaked. <laughs> and this is all the stuff that they lent us that we forgot. And some gingerbread on the top, of course. Ready? Delivery! I don't think I even showed you guys, but my other gran made gingerbread. I was gonna make it on the Thursday, but she made it on the Wednesday instead. And it's absolutely amazing. We're all ready for show jumping gonna poop my pants but it's fine <laughs> all right so we warmed up pretty well gorgeous warm-up arena it was literally stunning um and then we went into the ring and i showed him jump three 
because I knew we were going to have an issue with it and then you can see like he's backing off from there and then he's trying to shit himself and then I tried to show him the tractor as well but 40 seconds doesn't seem like a lot of time and I kept looking back at the clock and then I just sort of can it straight away and we went around to the first jump but I should have let him look at number three for longer because this is mum filming from here and yeah that happened <laughs> I didn't think it was very cute, but thank you, Caitlin. Um, <laughs> and I've switched to Dad filming here because I think he had a better angle and it's not as blurry. Took the inside turn to number two where a lot of people had a rail, whether they took the inside or the outside turn, but outside was probably better. And then you can see that I just sped up between those two jumps, put my leg on, told him to go. And now I know what chasing a horse into a jump feels like. Um, I should have been like half halting and keeping the same rhythm because I just freaked him out by going faster. But we've had a lot of stops in jumping because I slow down too much or I fiddle too much so I just really wanted to focus on just going forward and then he stopped at it. But again a lot of people did have refusals at that fence and then I stuffed up the distance to that one and we had a horrible pole there and then I don't even know what happened there but recovered for the second fence. Well done. Um, and then the rest of the course was fine. Sort of a dodgy distance there, but he did it nicely. It's kind of spooky in the corner there, but this is a good rhythm here. And then did this line really nicely. Not blinking at the tractor, but little sausage dog fillers, however, are a big issue. And then popping the last fence nicely it was just really frustrating because i knew we'd have an issue at fence three and i tried to write a plan but it didn't work uh but we got really cute photos thanks to my brother Those so puppy dogs hey mm. disappointed just as and showed up being a road like shit and he was being shit um yeah i'll voice over the video and now like i don't want to put extra pressure on myself to do well in cross country but like i'd like to have at least something go okay you know it's okay like i've said i truly am just so happy to be here it doesn't matter i'm just excited to have the opportunity and i do mean that i don't sound like i mean it but i really do i'm less grumpy now and we're just talking about the fact that we came here for a clinic about two years ago and we spent the whole time going, oh my God, imagine competing here. Imagine actually competing here. And that's what we're doing. So it doesn't matter that everything's gone um, not great so far. No, no, but, but, but not, not great. A little bit less than great. Yeah. Well, we're still in it. I'm excited to give cross country a go. Actually, no, excited to stretch. I'm still shitting my pants i am optimistic about giving it a go and uh mum bought this crop which was 50 percent off because i always lose my crops and I, can you see it's got pink and it's really sticky my cross country color is pink obviously so this is going to be my lucky crop yeah i have a really solid plan i think i already said that but i do i like my plan of how i want to ride it so we'll just go give it a go just treat it like a training round doesn't matter doesn't matter I've got my mega mac and cheese and now we're going to go for a little walk and watch some cross country for a bit. <laughs> Guys, I found the cat! <laughs> Here you go. That's it. You're so beautiful. You want to say hi to the vlog? Oh my goodness. And now I have an hour until cross country so I'll go grab Finn and start getting ready and say some more prayers. <laughs> Come on, girl. Good luck. So, the vlog kind of fell apart. I kept saying to people, I don't care what the results are. I don't care if I fall off and die on cross country. And you heard me say throughout the vlog, well, I'm just so excited to be here. I could just cry all day. Probably should have specified that meant happy tears. And I did. I did end up 
crying for hours on Saturday after cross country, but they were not happy tears. So my goal coming into Wallaby Hill was to just ride forward because at Sydney and at Wagga, we had stupid stops because I was just fiddling too much and like slowing down too much coming into the jumps. So I just wanted to let him travel, but looking back, I now realize I was chasing him into the jump and especially at a spooky place like Wallaby Hill, that's not what you want to do. Like I should have been holding his hand, not just telling him to go and then doing nothing. So as always, it's my fault. I feel like I've done everything wrong under the sun and it just feels like it keeps going and going. I still haven't even been to 10 events, so <clears throat> God knows how long this is going to go on for. Probably a really long time, but that's okay. That's horses. It's so hard in the moment, but like we have to be prepared for the huge ups and the huge lows and I mean I knew I had it coming like we'd been doing so well leading up to this event that like kind of makes sense that we hit a massive low so what happened I galloped out of that start box and I was just going too fast and like I said I just chased him out of that start box and to get to the first jump you had to go past the wallaby jump and under some trees so there were like shadows and then there was sand on the ground and I don't know if it was any of that or the jump itself that he just like balked at and it happened so fast I don't even know if he stopped or if he just went sideways or something but I just came off the side and I landed on my feet like we're both completely fine which is of course all that matters I know that I know that and I really believe that from the bottom of my heart because of all the floating dramas that we've had and you know all the stories you hear all that matters is horse and rider come home safe and unharmed and I know that but I was absolutely hysterical as soon as I hit the ground because I literally fell off before we even made it to the first jump like I just couldn't believe it I was I was so upset like I I was crying so hard I didn't know which way to go because I just couldn't even hear what people were saying like I didn't know which way to get out and then I kind of just yelled out where do I go so upset, so mad. I wanted to drop food off at the dog was on the way home, like even though it wasn't even his fault. I mean, he could have helped me out a little bit, like still holding a bit of a grudge because we'd been grazing in the warm up area, which is like right next to where the start box area was and right next to the wallaby jump. So he'd been looking at it for two days straight, but I know it was mostly my fault. I was just so mad. I was mad at myself. I was mad at him. I was mad that it happened. And I was so angry and upset for so long, which horrifies me because this is just supposed to be my stupid hobby. It just means so much and I wish it didn't mean so much. I wish I didn't have to sit down and do these DMs with you, but it's just my entire world. I was particularly disappointed after dressage as I explained. My poor family dealt with me being quite grumpy, but I think I pulled myself back together pretty quickly and I did a better job than normal at like just putting it out of my head, which I'm quite happy with. And then for show jumping, it was just annoying because I knew it was gonna happen, but I didn't actually get that upset. So after those two, I was like, oh, well, last weekend was our dressage weekend, like the Canberra Classic dressage comp where we did really well. And then, oh, well, we still got cross country. It's fine, it doesn't matter. And I was just trying so hard to stay positive that it just, completely fell apart. I'm very embarrassed that I was so hysterical, but like before the first jump, that's unheard of. But it was yet another important learning curve and I'm gonna come back so much stronger. Just you wait. It's taken a while to get here and accept what happened. We're about two weeks post event. It's still December. Here's the tree and my Christmas earrings. It was obviously a huge knock to my confidence. Having him freak out at that jump and on cross country felt like he was saying to me that he didn't trust me which sucks like that is just the worst feeling but that's not how it works there's so many extra variables in this sport and it's so easy to lose sight of the fact that results don't matter not results scoreboard results even just results like did you go clear on cross country or did you fall off like it doesn't matter it's just about learning and trying to enjoy ourselves spending time with friends and family supporting friends and hanging out with our ponies my favorite bits of these vlogs are those kind of moments and I was being all sentimental when I was editing the bit where I'm like this is a part of events that I love when you're just hanging out with your horse and just like going on random little adventures at night that kind of stuff like that's what matters and I know we'll get there one day I know we'll smash 95 one day might be a long way away but we will get there and I really hope that the people watching this will get to see that happen. I'll stop myself there. I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas. I'm so excited to keep documenting my journey in 2023. So I'll see you then. Bye!